Hey there, everybody. This is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Metroid Fusion. I hate this boss battle. I hate it with a fiery hot passion that extends from the bits or the pits of my soul. Oh God! And I hate everything about this area. So let's just try to blow through it. Yeah, so you can blow up these guys. Doesn't really help much because, well, there's not much going on. Because right when you get up here, you can kill this thing one hit. Get all your weapons and, uh, or sorry, get all your missiles and, uh, power bombs refilled. And get the energy tank. Do not just drop down there and go after it like I did the first time I fought this guy. <sighs> Four boss time. Against Nightmare. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the hardest boss fight in the entire game. He is a bitch mother fuck. Sorry for the harsh language, but this guy is an asshole. He is like probably the hardest boss in a Metroid game I've ever freaking fight fighted fitted. So basically once his uh, little uh once his stuff blows up, that's your that's your cue to just blow the hell or blow him the hell up with bon or missiles. Yeah, then I'll spin around. You kind of want to avoid that phase. He's fast too. Don't don't let him fool you. Oh, of course, of oh, freaking course. So yeah, just blow him the hell up, and then drop. Drop before he can get you with the beams or his uh. This little roundabout pattern, which I just got stuck in. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We can do it, 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 yes! 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 Oh, and the X form. Oh, damn. Well, don't worry. We're pretty much X exterminators once you get the space jump, because then you can just avoid them pretty much forever. Oh man, that boss fight is so hard. That was my my sixth take. He is sixth take. Sorry, my I said sixth, didn't I? My grammar's getting all messed up. So anyway, for beating him, we get the gravity suit. Probably one of the best upgrades in the game. It reduces the damage you take and lets you move freely in water, and gives you your purple color scheme, which looks a lot better than the other color schemes. And now we can run in the water, which is important because you need to get a jump or a running start in order to break through that wall. So let's go back. I like how they use the boss room to give you the momentum too. Kind of like, uh, well not Kraid. I don't think Kraid does that in Metroid Zero Mission. But yeah, now we have access to the, to the speed jump underwater. Speed boost, sorry. And now that we've, uh, now that we've cleared out stupid face, dummy, Nightmare, who's a pain in the ass. He also said you, you guys look ugly, which I told him you guys don't. Just to show you how much of an ass this guy is. He, he would go and call my beautiful viewers ugly. And that doesn't sit right with Millennium Jester. I don't know what kind of guy you think I am, but it's no bueno. So we probably want to head up back towards the uh, the navigation room sure if I pulled up my thing for a second you'd be like yeah you should go to the navigation room jerk yeah but before we couldn't space space run can space jump in the water so huh maybe we don't go that way oh yeah so just Yeah, I like them apples. Alright, power bombs, see what's going on here. Damn. Alright, so basically, there's going to be giveaway fours through here, so...
Yeah, you can do this a simpler way by just, you know, looking. Damn you! And we get the energy tank. Oh, I guess that was the last one, huh? Could have sworn that other one was the last one we get for that row. You get a lot of energy tanks in this game. And again, you do take a lot more health than in the other Metroid games, so I guess that's a, that's a probable reason why. Doesn't look like we can go that way, though, so it looks like we'd have to go a different way. Just fire your missiles like crazy. And now we're in Sector 4 Aqua. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, we need this, the uh, the other item that we don't have yet. Well, actually, there's two items we don't have yet, but I believe we need to, yeah, speed boost our way through here. So let's go back and do that. Wee! Isn't that fun? And this is, like, my least favorite... Nightmares are my least favorite boss in this game. This is, like, my least favorite area in this game, because I get lost so easily here. Alright. Let's continue on. Like, seriously, this is my least favorite area. Plus, it's really easy to, like, lose all of your health here. Even with the defense boost from the, uh... The defense boost, the uh, armor boost from the... From the gravity suit. It's just not a bueno stage, if you ask me. And if you come over here, we get a power... or a missile tank upgrade. Isn't that just swell? Oh, damn. Damned damn. Shooting the dem peoples. Also, you kind of want to watch out on your power bomb levels, because, like, I have the tendency to just blow through power bombs. I don't know what it is about this area, but, like, yeah, you can get up here with a power bomb, actually. This reminds me of uh, Meridia, where you can, uh, these guys are assholes. But like basically uh, in Meridia they have that place where you can break it open with your super or with a power bomb or whatever. It's like a glass case and shatters and I was like, oh my god, I'm 12 years old, this is awesome. No, I was older than 12 when I played Super Metroid. I never had Super Metroid when I was a kid, that's probably why I don't care for it as much as the other one. I mean, I do like it, but like, if I had to pick a favorite, it'd probably be Prime, and then this game, and then Zero Mission. Holy damn, what the... Let's make this easy on ourselves. We get another missile tank upgrade. You dirty rats! Yeah, but the po the plasma beam is still really helpful at this point, which is good because I hate it when upgrades become like useless. Like the charge beam, or no, not the charge beam, the long beam. That is the weirdest, weirdest upgrade I've ever seen in any kind of Metroid game. Maybe because it's like so half-ass, like the long beam, really. Can come up with something a little bit more classy than the long beam. Well, anyway, I believe the right path to go to is through here. Oh. I thought it showed up here. Huh. Where are we supposed to go then? What the hell? Hmm. Let's shoot our bombs everywhere. 
Well, these are red doors. We can't unlock them because we don't have access to the red lock, which is weird. You jerk. All right, let me hold on just a moment. Let me consult my my handy dandy strategy guide. All right, we're back. Hold on just a moment. Oh damn! Of course, I off centered it. Of course. That looks good. All right, why not? All right, well, since we're back, I think I figured out the way we're supposed to go, which is not this way. I don't believe. No, it's not this way. All right, so let's go back this way. We actually want to go back to that little spot where we were up here, and there were the two, uh... I don't know their names. They're like... I should just, like, come up with a bestiary of names I just made up for these guys. Like, these guys, these are the, uh... These are the pregnant bombers. Why not? And as you see, that little area up there... Kind of gave way, because there's something back here. We already got that, because I'm a retard. <laughs> but anyway, there's also something over here, which I forgot to grab. So let's go this way. Not in ball form. Because, I mean, hey, we're cool guys, and we don't, we don't travel around in ball form. Or cool girls, if you're a female watching this. In which case, call me. <laughs> He's not a creeper at all. Alright, so you want to go this way. We have another secret passage. Might be wondering, well, how do we get over there? How, how, will it even just start? How do we, how do we do this? I just don't know anymore. And that's okay, because you can just follow me to the path of enlightenment. Do not collect them all. You have to let them go and get these two guys golden or whatever. Because obviously there's a safety mechanism at play here. And they are not affected. And once you kill them and collect their... You don't have to collect the X. Once you kill them, you have access to this door. Isn't that just awesome? And there's an energy tank. We can our second bar. Let's grab that. Yeah, that's right. First, first second bar. That's what I'm talking about. That's all we can get in this room, I believe. That's the only way to get that, though. I don't know why. It's weird. No power bomb. Oh, no, I'm out of power bombs. Damn. That's what I get for using them all willy nilly to impress the ladies. The ladies aren't even impressed. All right, well, we can't get through there, through this way, so let's space jump our, our, our butts. Our butts, because this is, this is PG. I don't know about you guys, but I like the PG. Like keeping it PG. I don't do PG-13 because that's just a bit too risque for, for my blood. Really gotta get your hops going here. Hmm. Damn, perhaps I went the wrong way. All right. I was really hoping that would work. Let's go this way, then. This would be a lot easier if I had a power bomb, but I don't. Damn you, game! Tell me where to go! I need to be spoon-fed. I'm not a gamer of the last generation. I don't need all this... This work. Let's hop down here. Hmm. So confused. Wait a minute. There's a hole here. Dun dun dun. Learning things for myself. This is why, if you're a Blitz player, you should always, 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 no matter how many times you've played the game before, do a practice file. 
Because otherwise you'll end up like old crazy Millennium Jester running around like a crazy person. Anyway, now that we've done that, we unlock the level 4 security hatches. Which probably, in retrospect, is not a good idea. But, since we're, you know... Since we're already here anyway, and we've already pretty much screwed up everything there is to screw up... Might as well... Go through here. Oh damn, I didn't even realize, but we're running out of time. Hmm. Speed forward to the next save room, or... Face imminent peril when I come back. I'm thinking speed forward to the next save room. Yeah, you don't need to kill those things with the plasma beam, it just makes it easier. What the hell is going on with that? No power bomb, alright. It would really help at this point. At this juncture in my command. Okay, well you can go through here. And roller derby your way through. I wanted to try like a... Like right when you get the, the morph ball or whatever. I wanted to try like a morph ball. Challenge playthrough or something. Something ridiculous. Oh, that was a save room. And that's all we have time for in this episode, so... Join back next time when we make our way to wherever we're going. It's been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.